What's up guys, it's me Doggy Dog 52 and I'm back again with another sneaker review. This time it's a first for me, it's my first ever Kobe 9, it's my first ever Black History Month sneaker also. So if the title didn't give it away, what I have right here is uh, the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month colourway. It comes in this uh, Kobe 9 box, so it's got white with all sorts of graphics on it, it's got Kobe's signature right there, it's got the Kobe logo both on the front and on the back. Um, and I'll let you guys see the tag with all the sizing and colour and that information. So what we have for you today is the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month or BHM. Uh, the colour is very simply black and white. Um, it's US 13, UK 12. Style code is 704304, colour code is 010. Um, you can see it from Nike.com as always. And uh, The paper is actually the Kobe paper so it's got that Kobe logo on there. Um, and this is the sneaker right here. Again, really a revolutionary sneaker uh, in many aspects. Although I am late getting to this uh, video, um, this is still a very re revolutionary sneaker and definitely something I'd like to talk a little bit more about. So I'll give you guys a quick spin round to let you guys see how it looks. Uh, and then we'll jump right into it to talk about this amazing um, sneaker. So, um, as I've mentioned in my previous phone pause videos, it was Eric Ava who worked with Kobe on the Kobe line, so it was Eric Ava who brought Flyknit to basketball, um, which is amazing, it's a fantastic shoe, um, and it really changed people's perceptions of Flyknit and where Nike could go with it. Um, so when the actual Kobe 9 itself was first unveiled last December, and announced that it would have a global release of the 8th of February, people lost their minds. Um, actually, this is the only pair of Kobe 9s I have, whether it be low, elite, whatever, this is the only pair, and I was really holding out for a colorway, um, that really meant something and I really really liked the look of it. So, Kobe 9 Elite uh, in the Black History Month colourway. Um, starting with the outsole, we have Kobe's um, data pressure uh, on here, the foot mapping, um, and that basically creates the traction on here. Um, so that is essentially Kobe's foot right there that you're uh, walking in. So again, this was really a sneaker that Nike had really looked to tell stories in along with um, Kobe, um, so each colourway was designed that it would have um, different muses that would essentially, um, things that motivate him, so the original launch colourway is the masterpiece, um, there was other ones that were in the Lakers colourway, there was uh, a whole bunch of different colourways and they were all different things uh, and different aspects of life that Kobe f um, draws inspiration um, from. So you have this amazing one piece flying at upper where you've got this uh, Nike Swoosh, it's a uh, embossed on opposed to being stitched, again keeping the weight down. Um, and something that is very very awesome about this is these synthetic overlays around the heel, um, these and the ankle sorry, uh, these actually allow for further storytelling um, across all the different colourways. Um, so you make, you've got that amazing fly net upper like I said, um, you've also got with that fly wire, so you've got the dynamic fly wire cables that are right through the lacing which is going to really look to lock you down. Um, and hold you in the sneaker. Um, talking about lockdown as well, you have this uh, carbon fibre heel clip um, which is going to really lock you down on those hard lateral and quick cuts. Um, you also have that repeated um, going down towards the forefoot on the lateral side serving somewhat um, to help with the outrigger which you see right here. Um, so the outrigger is just basically all about giving you that stability and it's going to stop you rolling this way um, when you're playing basketball. Um, again, as I was saying earlier about the storytelling element of this shoe, you have those uh, nine white lines. On the vast majority of the sneakers they were red and it was to um, really highlight Kobe's Achilles troubles. So if you remember, the Kobe 8 um, was actually the last shoe that Kobe performed in up until pretty much so. So if you remember the Kobe 8 um, was the sneaker that Kobe was wearing when he took those free throws after he injured his Achilles. Um, and at that point, you really look to then give people an insight into all the process and all the um, extra work and effort you had to go through to get back on court. Interestingly enough, talking about on court, these sneakers weren't unveiled by Kobe on court himself and worn. It was actually his LA Lakers teammate, Nick Young, who had the honour to wear these on court. Um, officially, um, in terms of this colourway, this colourway um, was seen on court uh, in China by Will Bynum. He's over there playing in China right now, the former Pistons guard. Um, and that was the first place I saw these on court. 
Um, again, these were on, this particular colorway, the Black History Month, was unveiled in January um, as part of Nike's annual um, Black History Month collection. This collection this year actually featured 28 items. Um, so you had all the main signature athletes, Kyrie, Kobe, LeBron and KD all getting a shoe. You also had um, a men's and a grade school Jordan 1. You had a Jordan 29 as well. Um, as well as tees, hats and shops as well. Um, so a really massive collection and really looking to celebrate um, Black History Month correct. Um, in terms of the Black History Month branding, you've got the BHM Leicester Bray, which is very, very cool. Um, something else that you have just looking above it is this sandwich mesh, which is really going to give you the ventilation um, on your feet as well. Um, you also find that you have the Kobe logo on the tongue. Um, in white with the predominantly black background. You also have Kobe's signature in white as well. Uh, and you have KB 9th right around the top of the collar um, for the Kobe's signature shoe. Um, you have additional black laces with your black um, aglet, plastic aglets on there. Um, and that's pretty much it in terms of the Kobe. Um, Something I haven't talked about is the cushioning, which I will just show you. It's not touched because looking at this shoe, you'll notice you don't have a traditional midsole. Instead, what you have is something that's become quite popular and quite synonymous with the Kobe line is a drop-in midsole. So uh, you have this drop-in lunar lun. So this is the actual cushioning setup here, um, and it's something I really wanted to pull out and show because something that's on here that's very very cool is these um, little delta nodes or lugs. Uh, and basically it is to stop your foot sliding within the shoe and this is something that's been very very popular and very common within the Kobe line as was in the Kobe 8, it really really worked so they kept it for the Kobe 9 um, something else that really kind of was uh, given birth to um, by the Kobe 7 where you had that interchangeable um, cushion set up where you could also have the collar um, with the strap on it as well um, again if you want to check out that video, the Kobe 7 Christmas colorway um, then do check on my channel and you'll see that on there. Um, so something that's detailed on all the different Kobe shoes is on the back of the tongue it has the uh, alternate name to the colorway and um, so on because this is a Black History Month the two tags actually alternate and are different so on the back of the left shoe it says struggle um, at the top uh, with Kobe's signature below and the back of the right shoe it says progress um, but without further ado let me pop it on feet and let you guys see how it looks. There we go guys, this is the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month or Progress colorway. Let you guys see the front, side, the back and the outsole. So very very cool sneaker, very very different again, still very eye catching and something that um, was a fantastic performance sneaker um, and all the performance reviews that I've seen. It's now time for me to grab my phone, jump straight in at my shoutouts. Um, if you would like to add it to the shoutout list, then do just leave a comment below uh, and we'll make it happen. First up is Ike Bezel. Uh, the reason that I do these videos, he was the guy who said to me maybe four or five years ago now, uh, just go ahead, give it a try, uh, and I did, and I'm still here. Uh, next up is the Homie for Life, the sneaker brother over there in Detroit, Jumpman Bostic. Uh, Shoutouts to Hess Kicks also, Nightwing2303, and Kick Genius, two channels that I love to check out for performance reviews. I've got Zaya X as well, that's Sugar OK, Just For Kicks 2 on 2, all those guys are from the Florida area, uh, The Real Ray Ray 20, Street Gear NYC, the store up in New York, uh, Nice Kicks, the store in Austin, Texas, Sneaker Watch TV, Scoop 208, Mr. Former Simpson, Yo Ante, Yo Ante Kicks, T Blake, Always Fresh Apparel, Shock Slade, Bill RC, We Are The Trend, Ski TV, KicksandFire.com, KicksandTheSide.com, Suicide of One, Swag On, Hairs Out, Sam Colt 12, TL Rex 72, Guns and Gloves, One Veracity, Optimus P 517, Sticky 213, Blue Cheese, Mike X Fly, Eddie Wynn, Jason Mark, Surrey DC, the sneaker brother over there in St. Louis, and someone else I've been checking out from Atlanta is Rich's Kicks. Um, if you'd like to check out what I'm doing more on a day to day basis, then my uh, Twitter and Instagram name is going to appear right here, it's at NathanCare20. Um, when you're posting pics and uh, making tweets, Use my hashtags, it's hashtag sneakerfanworldwide, 
hashtag NDD52 for me, NateDoggyDog52. And I'm helping out with homie T Blake with his hashtag, hashtag T Blake. Again, they're all going to appear as I'm talking on screen. Give you guys one last look at the sneaker um, and then I will get out with you. Um, so that's the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month. Um, this has been my favourite colour in the Kobe 9 Elites, primarily because it's essentially half white, half black, and it really is. Um, ha has been my favourite. Um, very, very simple colours to use, but executed flawlessly in my opinion. If you have enjoyed this video, then please do like, comment, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Click on the channel link down below and check out my back catalogue of previous videos. I have got quite a few Kobe videos, if that's your thing. If not, I'm sure there's something on there for you. Until the next video, I've been NateDoggyDog52. This is the Kobe 9 Elite Black History Month. Peace.